Top of the Eiffel Tower? Can I survive an entire day with $100? This is Macau. It's like the Las Vegas of China. Today I'm trying some new foods and I'm not supposed to film in the casino so I have to be sneaky. But before I get into the casinos, the glitz and the glam, I'm exploring the historic district. This place has so many tea shops. There are many options on the menu, but I get a red bean brown sugar milk tea. The price? Four dollars. I've never had beans in a tea before, but it's actually pretty good. It tastes really nice. The combination of the brown sugar, the milk, and the flavors, and of course the beans, not bad. Bad. Actually, I like these beans in my tea a lot better than when you have like boba tea. Not a big fan of that, but this is pretty good. Next, I go to the historical museum, and the best part is that the price is free. I spend some time learning about Macau's history. Macau is a special administrative region of China, meaning it has its own currency and set of rules. So $100 is equal to 800 pataka. This is a former Portuguese colony, so you'll see many signs of its past here, like street signs in Portuguese, especially here in the historical district. Since I didn't eat breakfast today, it's already time for lunch. I'm not really sure what to eat, but I see this little restaurant that looks welcoming and I go in. Many restaurants here are not really used to foreign tourists, so everything here is in Chinese, which might be a little bit of a challenge. So I order something from the menu and this comes. The price is $5. I'm a bit overwhelmed because this is not just pork meat and I'm not entirely sure what exactly it is. I want to be adventurous and get out of my comfort zone, but it's not working, so I just end up eating the noodles. But I do hate wasting food. Next, it's time for an egg tart. This is the most famous thing you can eat for dessert here. And you see this line? This is insane. They're all waiting for the famous Macau egg tarts. But hey, time is money, so there is no way I'm waiting in that line. Yes, maybe I didn't wait in that long line for the famous egg tart, but honestly, when you're traveling, your time is important, so you gotta pick and choose. Did I miss having the best egg tart of my life? Maybe, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Instead, I see a little shop next door selling egg tarts with no weight. Obviously, I'm sure they're not as good, but I don't care. The price? One dollar. The Macau egg tart originally came from Portugal, but it was a adapted to local tastes. The ones in Macau are less sweet than the Portugal ones, and they're a bit more eggy and they don't have cinnamon typically. After a few hours exploring this historic district, it's time to go to the main strip of Macau. I start off at the Venetian and walk around the shops. Next, it's time for a gondola ride in the hotel. If you're having deja vu, yes, this is exactly the same as the Venetian in Las Vegas. The line goes by pretty fast. So basically, you get on a boat and someone rows you around all indoors. The price? $16. Even though it's the same as Las Vegas, remember it's actually supposed to be based on Venice. Yes, this is super touristy and a bit cheesy, but don't judge me because it's all within my budget. Next, it's time for another landmark here, which is the Eiffel Tower. Yes, just like Las Vegas, this place also has a similar hotel, but this is called the Parisian. Luckily, there's no line for this, so I go right up. The ticket for this is $9. You can take an elevator up 38 floors, and there you have it. You feel like you're at the top of the Eiffel Tower, sort of, because the view is not quite the same as Paris. It's definitely not as big as the real Eiffel Tower. You can do the full walk around loop in like 20 seconds, but it is really cool because there are some beautiful views from up here. By now it's getting dark and I'm actually starving because remember, I barely ate lunch today. So I head to the Londoner Hotel. Yes, this is a hotel themed completely based off of London. Inside I go to this restaurant called Tim Ho Wan. This is originally a Hong Kong dim sum restaurant chain. Some people call it the world's cheapest Michelin star restaurant. Now it's in 12 countries, including six locations in the United States. First, I start with my drink because I'm intrigued when I see it on the menu. This is called barley water. The price? $3. Next, I order steamed prawn dumplings. These are delicious and the perfect flavor. Steamed prawn dumplings, $5. After that, I try pork and soup dumplings. Pork and soup dumplings, $9. This one comes with a nice red dip, which tastes perfect. Soup dumplings are literally just dumplings with hot sizzling soup inside. They are delicious, but they can also be a bit tricky to eat as well. This was my favorite thing on the menu so far. But next I tried the shrimp wonton noodles. This is really delicious. Shrimp wonton noodles, 
$8. I'm getting super full from this dinner, but I totally forgot I ordered one more thing that comes at the end, and that's vermicelli rolls with shrimp. Vermicelli roll with shrimp? $6. I am so full, but honestly, this was delicious. Everything I tried was really good, and I'm feeling pretty full. Even though I'm sure there's more authentic Macau cuisine, I'm super happy with my choice. Okay, so I have $34 left, and there's only one thing left to do here, and that's head to the casino floor. Macau's gaming revenue is usually five or six times higher than Las Vegas, because remember, you have a population of 1.4 billion people next door, and this is their official gaming hub. So I'm not supposed to film in the casino, so I have to be sneaky. The casino vibe is much different here than Las Vegas. See, here in Macau, it's kind of more like a sport. You just want to play and win and leave. While in Las Vegas, I feel like it's largely about being seen. Also, here they give out like tea and coffee, milk, water, versus Las Vegas is much more centered around hard drinks. Another huge difference is the money. See, the minimum table play here is $123. That's insane. It just goes to show how much more money moves around this place than Las Vegas. Obviously, $123 is way above my budget, so I head to this slot machine. And sadly, I end up losing it all on this one machine. I cannot believe that a minimum is $120 for a table. That is crazy. And unfortunately, I lost my money, all of it. It took about 30 minutes. Probably not the best use of $34, but when you come to Macau or Vegas, you gotta at least try your luck. So I did it. I spent $100 in one day in Macau. I didn't break the bank, and I got to see lots of different things from historic sites to the new glitz and glam of the casinos. Overall, this was a fun day in Macau. I don't necessarily recommend people come and visit Macau because if you can, Las Vegas just has a little bit more oomph to it. It's a little bit more exciting to me because I feel like the nightlife in Las Vegas is just really at another level. One thing I like about Vegas is that the casino floor has like a level of excitement versus in Macau, it's more like a sport. It's like, okay, I'm just here to make money. Leave me alone. Even the drinks that they give in Macau, it's like water, tea, milk. But in Las Vegas, it's just more of a scene. And not that I'm a huge fan of Vegas, but when the time is right, I do vote for Vegas over Macau. But one thing that Macau has that Vegas does not is that historic district. That was really cool cool, had some good unique food, and I really enjoyed that milk tea this morning. And of course the egg tart as well. But I wanna know your comments. Did you know about Macau? Anything that surprised you? And anything that you would've spent money on? And what do you think about how I spent my $100? While you're at it, check out more of my videos like $100 Day in Las Vegas or my trip to Portugal. Finally, let me know where I should go next and what's my budget, and don't forget to follow me at Upton.